<clears throat> Are you ready for the greatest sports segment in podcast history? With the most electrifying co-host in sports entertainment, it is time for your Davis Division with Connor Davis. Let's talk football. football. Let's go with something a little bit, a little bit uh, mellow. Then we'll get a little spicy. Actually, this is a little spicy because you know if we were talking like a, a WWE pay per view, you start with the good match and end with the good. Is it zesty like Caleb Williams? No, whoa, no, no. We're, we're not. We're not. We're not at that point of zest yet. So let, let, right, let's okay. let's start with a little bit of lemon, and then we'll we'll get about half of it when we get there. But let's go. After trading for a. Uh, after trading a third-round pick to the Patriots for their pass rusher, Matthew Judon, signing Broncos veteran safety Justin Simmons, and now reaching a four-year $81 million deal with cornerback A.J. Terrell. Dan Orlovsky has the audacity to go out and say that my division rival, the Atlanta Falcons, are Super Bowl contenders? Whoa! I'll pump the okay, yeah, no, I'll pump. I yeah, I, I I tell you this with their recent acquisitions. That's pumping. You can the let me ball. know if they are playoff contenders. If they might not even win the the South, I wouldn't. I would go far to say they might. They be first place in the South. Please. Whatever y'all want to do, whoever wants to take it first, give me your thoughts on what the Falcons touchdown Tyson Bajant. Tell me everything, what, where they're standing in terms of contention, what you well, think about their moves. Go. Yes. Hold on, time out. We're not doing that. We're not doing our right, our, our which all yet. We're not going to do like our standings yet. No, 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 no. Well, but okay. He's not asking for full standings. He's I'm not just, asking for standing. I'm where, asking where he wants them. I'm asking what think you think, gonna... what you think about their moves, like how you oh, feel I love about moves. it, uh, so, where they're contending in terms of. You're not do you agree? Yes do you agree no, with Dan Orlovsky? You don't have no, to say. You don't, I don't have to say I don't, they're going to win. Okay, division. so I, I don't. I don't. I do not agree with them. They're not a Super Bowl team, at all. Uh, the one thing that they have done, and I think that they've done well, is knowing their division. They know that their division is one of the weakest teams, or excuse me, weakest divisions in football, if not the weakest division in football, in my opinion. And that's not a knock on your Saints, dog. I'm, not, I'm just gonna say that right now, Connor. Okay, I'm just gonna say that right now. However, who's in their division again? The Buccaneers, the Saints, Panthers. and uh, yeah. Panthers. All right, Panthers are hot doo doo. All right, I'm not even. We don't even have to go through that debacle. Uh, the Buccaneers. Okay, I, I, I like. I like Baker Mayfield just because I like how who like just like the comeback story and like the hardworking badass like kind of like was like the you know like a type guy and all of a sudden he got humbled and now he's like a lot better so I think his story is cool and for the Buccaneers, uh, Mike Evans is getting a little older. I do like Godwin too, but um, yeah, I know man. And the Saints, the Saints ain't marching in, bro. I'm gonna have the Falcons like first in that division. MJ. I here's the thing. I like what they're doing. Um, I have a little bit of a different spin on it. I like it more from the coaching perspective. So Ooh, nice. um, I was I was able to watch Raheem Morris um, in L.A. Um, and then I believe I may get the name wrong. It's Zach Robinson is their offensive coordinator. Also came from the Rams. Um those two work very well together. Raheem Morris is defensive or oriented, which I think will work really well um, for a Falcons defense that was above average and above expectations last year. Offensively, um, they've got some amazing pieces. And if you look at a system where Kirk Cousins is not going to have to stress, it would be a McVay Shanahan type system where you're going to let Bijan Robinson and Tyler Algier do a lot of work. Um, you're going to get the ball to Drake London and Kyle Pitts early and often. So I like what they have going there. I think they've made a lot of really good moves. Um, it's a weak division, so it's not hard for them to 
contend because they may make the playoffs out of that division because they have six of the easiest games guaranteed. No offense to your Saints, Connor. Um, and then I'm assuming they have an easier strength of schedule after struggling last year. So if you put all of that together, I mean, their quarterback play is automatically, even if you take average Kirk Cousins compared to the crap they had last year, it's going to be better. So when you put all that together, yeah, I think they improve drastically. I think they probably on paper right now are the best team in the division. Um, but a lot can happen in an NFL season, and I'm not ready to cram them anything yet. Yeah, just the next segment. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't count my Saints out, but uh, Mickey, we got to go. Mickey, I count go. your Saints out. Okay. Saints we are this close to getting Justin Simmons. And we need safeties. We need a safety bad. All of them are either retired or died. We need the safety. We were this close. Then the Falcons came in and swooped them up. But you know what? You know what? When Justin Simmons is washed and he plays like Kareem Jackson and just bazookas people and gets suspended, nice. I'll be okay. Whoa, whoa. I'll be okay. I'll good. be okay. All right, the next topic. Because y'all answered that pretty quick. Let me get out my paper over here. I got it in front of me. You sound like Beale Juice right there. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen the second movie? No, it's not even out yet, bro. Oh, is it not out yet? No. Uh, my bad. I don't. I only watch cable when I'm at home. Baby boy. What I don't actually remember like September... Taysom Hill's contract, but I only think he was getting paid like seven or eight million a year. Yeah, for a guy that's a Swiss Swiss Army Swiss Swiss. Yeah, you put Army him anywhere. Army. I mean, I don't yeah, think. What that's does he do? There's nothing player. consistent that he does well. I mean, he was. Put, he had more rushing touchdowns than Jamal Williams last year. Jamal Williams didn't get a rushing touchdown until like that 40 something to seven victory <laughs> against the Falcons the last game. Man, Jack's going all in. <laughs> Jack, what means too cute? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so, Sean Payton, my ex head coach, <laughs> oh, Mr. Sean Payton has decided who he wants to start week one against the Seahawks. The second As best rookie this the year. The Broncos 2024 first round draft pick seems to have paid off. Bo Nix after, and let me read you some stats from this past game. MJ and I talked a little bit about Please it. He do. went eight for nine yes. passing, 80 yards and a touchdown, and then he had three carries and 12 I yards watched, on the ground. I watched the game and I bet on it. <laughs> so he That's will be the right. first rookie since, do you know, to start a season John opener Elway. for the Broncos? Yes, I'm pretty sure you nope. probably saw that because um, yeah. Yeah. it was everywhere. And do you know what There's year that was? 1983. Somebody yep, for my been, website wrote an article. It's been over 40 so, yeah, years. It's been over 40 it, years. It was, I mean, uh, Bruce Bruce was alive when it happened. No, I wasn't. I was to say that's a year before <laughs> I was born, dog. Yeah. I was making a joke. Connor, you dick. I was born in 1984. <laughs> So, Bruce, you have watched the game. I'm not sure. I'm almost positive MJ watched the game. Is this the Bronco? Now, it's a little too early to say it. It's a preseason game. But what do you feel about Bo Nix becoming the Broncos' next start of franchise quarterback? All right. So, I I actually like this. Um, I do. I, I like Bo Nix. I like the experience that he's – He. I, I like the – so – the one thing I don't like is that Sean Payton didn't name him the starter right away. Um, but that's a testament to Bo Nix and the work that he's put in during this preseason. Um, I don't think that he uh, – he's not like a – he's not going to be like an all-star quarterback. He's not going to be some just badass guy out the gate. I, I think he's going to be a serviceable guy. I – okay, so I'm going to get hate on this. I'm totally okay with it. I kind of comped him in my head. Okay. God, I'm going to get a lot of hate on this. I, I comped him a little bit to Kirk Cousins. All right. Don't hate on me. Don't hate on me for it right away. I just like some of the things that he was doing, some of the reads that he was making. And granted, yes, it was against the twos and threes. Okay. So we'll, we'll put that out there too. But um, I, I do like what, I, what I've seen from him. And I'm putting it down right now. I do think he's going to be the second best quarterback second best rookie quarterback this year 
um, next to the man, the myth, the legend himself. But that's behind Jade Daniels, right? That's, he's that's a, behind Drake May, right? Uh, <laughs> yep, all, all of the above. Uh, but no, I, like, like I said, just to finish up real quick, um, I, I think that uh, he's going to be a, a serviceable quarterback for the Broncos. And uh, I think that it's going to end up working out well for them. I don't think that they have the talent, the supporting cast around him for the Broncos to do anything of significance. But I do think that this year, knowing that he's starting right away, he knows what he's doing. He can prep. He can do things that he needs to do as a starter. And then that helps. Um, I'm not of the uh, Tom Brady. I don't know if you guys heard the quote from Tom Brady. And Connor, I don't know if that's part of your one of your next questions or anything, but um, I'm not. A, I'm not of the thought process with uh, Tom Brady that just because you came into the NFL and you start right away that you are going to be bad. So I think that's a narrative that's been squashed. So he'll be fine. I like it. MJ. We talked about this on Thursday or Tuesday. Um, Bo Nix coming into the draft was – in my opinion, one of the worst prospects in the draft. And that's coming from somebody who's not a huge fan of Drake May. Um, I like Jaden Daniels to some extent, not as much as Connor does. Um, Bo Nix, we were all at the Senior Bowl. Bo Nix was the worst quarterback at the Senior Bowl. That includes Joe Milton, who all he knows how to do is throw the ball 80 yards and run. That's it. Um Bo Nix just looked lost. He did not look like he was picking up anything that week. He did not look good in the game. He did not look good in the practices. He didn't look good in the individual drills when he wasn't getting rushed and there was no defender. Um, he just didn't look good. Now, I what I said to Connor the other day was if there was ever somebody who was going to fix him, in theory, it would be Sean Payton. However, I also am of the camp – the same way that I talk about Brees and, or uh, they talk about Brady and Belichick, I don't like giving all of the credit to Peyton when it comes to Brees's success. I think right. he was a fantastic quarterback, and he didn't have the opportunity um, right. on the Chargers that he needed. He got the opportunity in New Orleans, right? So when it comes down to it, I, obviously, I think Bo Nix is the best option that the Broncos have because Zach Wilson and Stidham <laughs> are both like wet socks. When Let's go bang some girl, or you want to go bang some moms, bro. Right. Like they're <laughs> all short white quarterbacks with below average arm talent. So if you're gonna Ooh. pick any of them, you pick the one who is the rookie who you know, was good at slinging it in Oregon, pause, and made some things happen. So if anybody is going to fit into a Sean Payton style of offense, I really do think it is Bo Nix. Am I ready to, you know? say he's the second best quarterback in this draft class. No. Would I be surprised if that's how it ends up? No, because I like the situation he was put into very low pressure, doesn't Russell. have a lot of expectations. Um, and he can't be worse than Russell Wilson. Although that I will say to just to kind of like jump in real quick. Sorry, MJ. Um, that division though, it's gonna be fun for him to learn in that division. I'll just yeah, say like that. it's it's gonna be rough. <laughs> It's going to but be you rough. Know what? That goes back to what you said, and you said it very well, dude, that he's going to – like, the expectations are nil, zero, yeah. none. So if you're able to do anything against the Chiefs, against the, the Raiders, against the – who else is in that division? Chargers. Who, who, Chargers, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, I, I don't think the Chargers or Raiders do much. No. I Honestly, I could see the Broncos Ooh. ending up as second Ooh. in the division. Maybe. Whoa, that's well. Hot, just that's because hot, the, Ra- the Raiders, the Raiders, the Raiders are doo doo. The Chargers are gonna be doo doo. Because I know, man. they got little all, cheating Jim Harbaugh. All there. Harbaugh does is win. I'm loving these takes. I'm starting to interrupt you, but these takes are amazing so far. All, However, all Harbaugh does I, is win. I, I, all he does is cheat. I do want to say we're forgetting Sam Hartman existed at the Senior Bowl, and you're gonna say Bo Nix was. Worse than Sam Hartman. Oh, I, that, I do take something. that back. I do take that That's back. That was disrespectful something. to Bo Nix. Sam that Hartman. Was really disrespectful to Bo Nix. No, I do. Sam Hartman. How are we going like to put Karen, them two on the same if tier? If Karen played football, that's what Sam Hartman looked like. Yeah, and look at Bo hey. Nix. He's melting your Packers D like cheddar. Oh, no. Like cheddar. Look at that. And, and I love that. So 
the Packers rested 31 players uh, that were that 31 yeah, players were inactive that were on their 53 man roster last year. Yeah. So, I mean, I literally don't even recognize some of the guys on the, most of the guys on the screen on the Packers defense right now. And they, I don't even think they almost recognize them. So I would oh. hope that the, I would hope that the Broncos wax them. I mean, shout out to Bo Nix. Like what I told Connor was you don't ever like losing 27 to two. Like that's embarrassing. Matt LaFleur said it. He's like, I'm not happy. But when he rewatched the tape, he was like, no, I, I liked how some of it. And the, the, they're like, they're talking like fringe guys. Nick's likes yeah, honor good, because he good. spent a decade in college. Hartman is a loser because he willingly went to Notre Dame. I So I'm honestly at this point more impressed when Jack says he does like someone. Yeah. Than when he says he doesn't. It's a I, rare occurrence. Oh, well, no, he does somebody. love he does love Jaden Daniels. We've learned that. Really? I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm just whoa, kind of, whoa. Jaden Daniels is offensive rookie of the year. 